if you could go back in time and you're in that same position, graduated that age, would you like apply and you would do the same program again? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fresh out of like graduating, going to Japan, teaching English. Yeah. Next job, yeah. There was a time where um, I didn't. I was struggling a lot with if I should stay for two or three years. I knew I wanted to stay for at least two, and I got to the end of my second one. And at that point, the end of my second one, most of my close friends on the program left, and I was really struggling with should I stay for a third? Should I go home? What should I do? X Y Z. And at the end of my second year, I felt oh, I did feel like a good sense of accomplishment. I think I did everything I wanted to and things like that. But there was something pulling me like, oh, I think yeah. I was just I just wasn't ready to come back to America mm -hmm. and do it, and to find another job and things like that. So I told myself, you know, I'm I'll, I decided to stay for a third year for the for two purposes really. One was to travel more, which I accomplished, which I did. I traveled a lot. And to to find out what I wanted to do coming back to America, which I didn't do, which I didn't accomplish, but I did um, go and meet more people for career purposes, for career progression. And so three, and at the end of my three years, I was ready. I was done with the program. I was ready to come back to America and start whatever I wanted to do and things like that. And I did try finding another job outside of English teaching in Japan, and unfortunately, it just didn't work out. But um, it gave me a good sense of, it gave me good um, uh, practice to, um, for interviewing and um, looking into other job industries out there. And coming back and then I, I, did, all, I did it all over again here. But um, yeah, I would definitely do it again uh, coming out of college and stuff. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I definitely would too. And it's kind of the same. Um, yeah, I think the end of my second year, I was like, I feel like I'm not ready to go back yet and I think my first year one of my old co-workers he decided to leave mid-contract and his his goodbye speech one of the things that always stuck to me is like um, it's like you'll know when it's ready to leave yeah and like at my end of my second year I knew I wasn't ready yet and I think like halfway through my third year I was like okay I think I'm done like growing in this job yeah and like I have done you know what I could for now here and I had my fun and I'm ready to like move on to my next like goal and like dream or whatever and so yeah and that's when I knew I was like this is going to be my last year so just make the best of it and yeah I mean as for prepping for like the for now I didn't really <laughs> yeah prep so much for it so I was like in an I don't know phase for I mean, quite a while, but <laughs> yeah, no, really. Like if we stayed for our fourth years, we would have been stuck in COVID. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. It goodness. was it was very unprecedented, really. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, I think right now, based on my friends that work there currently, mm -hmm. it's almost like COVID doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> At least where we where right, we live. Right. 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 So I don't know. <laughs> no, same. Same. Um, <laughs> No, yeah, I mean, a lot of my friends do ask me, like, oh, do you, like, right now, if, yeah, like, someone asked me just this past week, they're like, do you wish you were back in Japan teaching? And I'm like, and I say, I, I told them, no, honest, honestly, no, because I knew I was done with that yeah. job and things like that. And I know right now is a little bit, yeah, not the ideal situation to be in, but no, I mean, I have my friends and my family here. And I want, and I chose to come back for it because I wanted to change jobs for, now, for to do a career change, yeah. and I could not have done that if I was in Japan. Yeah. I mean, other people say like, "Oh, you could have." I'm like, "Well, I could have. I tried, and I it didn't work out for me, unfortunately." Um, so that's why I'm just like doing that here now. So yeah, like sometimes I'm like, maybe I kind of stay, but then I'm like, I remember how much I was really done <laughs> with like teaching and just. I didn't feel like I could accomplish as much as I want anymore, and I knew it was time. So I was like, I just had to have to keep reminding myself that. <laughs> but I do miss my kids. That's, yeah, me too. That's what I would just go back for. <laughs> yeah, I miss the people a lot. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it, guys. Um, <laughs> once again, this was Lexi. This is Dami. Thank you for participating. 
in this <laughs> massively long <laughs> what's it like to teach English in Japan segment. Our, our... Do you want your Instagram on there? Like it's gonna pop up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if you guys me, have questions, follow yeah, follow. <laughs> um, I don't know. send them questions, slide in their DMs <laughs> and, and ask them questions if you have questions. Alright. Um, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.